Welcome back! My name is Baller Scuba. This is Video Games Over Time! We are still in 1985, and we are still in Ultima 4. When we last left off, I made it to the town of, uh, well, this town here. We haven't actually gotten its name yet, have we? Uh, but for those of you paying extra careful attention, you might notice that my food and gold are a little bit different, as is my experience. I had to redo a good chunk of the last video, and I got in more fights, so we're in actually a better position now. I actually grabbed more food, I got more gold. We're in a good spot here, uh, but that's what happened. I, I tried to save, and it just didn't take. I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, but let's go ahead and enter town here. I still have Julia with me. We need some heals, though. I've been fighting quite a bit. You meet a Hulk. I am guard. What's your job? Ugh, me tough. Ugh? Me tough. Ugh, the tough? Now, at this point, uh, nobody here has, like, a, a humility thing, so I can say whatever I want here. Yes. Ugh, the tough. Uh, me tough. The tough? What if I say no? Ugh, me tough. Well, all right, that's fine. Tough? Yeah, you're tough. All right, we'll move on from the guard then. Uh, why'd you move on me? All right, you meet a funny jester. Interesting. What's your name? She says, I am Shazbot. Is that a Mork and Mindy reference? I believe it is. Shazbot? Yeah. All right, uh, what's your job? Thou thinks I'm funny. Don't thou? Uh, I could say no and say, ah, too bad I thought it was. But I'll be nice, right? We're virtuous. Well, good. I try to be. How you doing? I've got a slight tickle. Um, I don't think that they're going... Oh, uh, you say that you're funny. Let's start there. I dare thee to ask me about Nate the Snake. Let's talk about Nate the Snake. Well, it's a long story and we haven't the time. Interesting. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Let's see, is there anybody kind of hiding? Oh, I bet yeah, you meet a wise man. What's your name, wise man? I am Durgin. Let me look him up on my list. There he is. What's your job? I give wise counsel. How you doing? Well, all right, tell me about the, the counsel that you have. Strive ye to know and develop the virtue within thee. Uh, virtue? The seer Hawkwind should be consulted often, for he can see within thee. Dost thou? Uh, I uh, could say no. He says, thou shalt surely stray from the path, but I'll say yes, because I have. I, I have maxed out my uh, spirituality and all that. Good. So there's your clue to talk to Hawkwind a lot. Uh, they don't tell you it'll increase your spirituality, but they tell you to do it a lot. Let's find some more hidden people, maybe, if if I can go. <laughs> Come on. You said it was only like 50%. No, stop. All right, I found Randall. <laughs> uh, what's your job? You mean a solemn ranger, His, he says he is Randall. What's your job? I teach of the shrines. Tell me about the shrines then. One must visit each shrine for one, two, and three cycles each for thy paths to be clear. Interesting. I thought that just the three was all I needed, but if he's telling me I gotta do one and two, maybe we go back and do one and two. Um, he's got a, a weird thing though. All right, dost thou visit them often? Um, I could say no, and he says, make that the first goal to log thy path to Avatar Hood, but I'll say yes. Very good. He's got a weird thing. If I just type A, he types A right back. I don't know why he does that. All right, what do we got up here? Nobody hiding there. We do have guards over here. They are the same guards. They are hulks. Anybody here? No. Okay, little kid, I am Flatbush. Let's find Flatbush, there you are. It's your job, you're an apprentice mage. Mage? I'm Calumny's favorite. Tell me about Calumny. He lives in you. Hast thou been to you? I have not. Uh, if I, it pretty much says the same thing no matter what I say. Calumny knows the quickness spell. Seek him out. I will need the quickness spell. I love the quickness spell. I like always going faster. If I said yes, he would just say Calumny knows the quickness spell. Doesn't say seek him out. That's pretty much it. 
How you doing? I'm very powerful. Good for you. Let's move on. And here, yay, we've made it to Vesper. We finally get the name of the place. Vesper. I am Twin Gates. I believe you're at the top of my list here. There's a lot of people in Vesper. All right. Um, how you doing? Wow. What's your job? We welcome thee to Vesper. Then why aren't you at the entrance? <laughs> Tell me about Vesper. Yes, Vesper is a fair village. Fair enough. Um, you welcome people here? Hast thou come a long way? I sure have. Yes. They say the same thing no matter what I say. We are honored by the visit of one on the quest. All right. And then you say, welcome. Welcome unto Vesper. All right. I think we're good there. You Twin Gates as well? No, you meet a tall mage. What's your name? Oh, uh, he is also Twin Gates. Never mind. He is the same. All right. And now we can actually go into town. Lot, Like I said, lots of people here. I am plain. Is that your name or is that a description? Name? I am plain. Uh, he says, uh, we meet a small man. Uh, how you doing? I'm fully healed. What's your job here? I seek humility. Tell me about humility. When the three principles of virtue combine in eight ways, pride has no virtue. Interesting. Tell me about pride. To be proud is not a virtue, and so Magencia was destroyed. Humility is the virtue that remains. Interesting. I think I can also just do... The A with him? No. Yeah. Oh, well. Moving on. That was what we needed to get. All right. We meet a wise shepherd. What's your name? I am Joseph. There's going to be some uh, interesting names here. Uh, what is... Well, how you doing? I am well. I am but a humble shepherd. Tell me about... Uh, being a shepherd. I'm on a pilgrimage unto the Shrine of Humility. Yeah, Joseph is on a pilgrimage. There's going to be some biblical names here in town. <laughs> Did thou know that there is no Shrine of Pride? Um, I could say yes, and they say very good, but I'm going to say no, I didn't know that. Pride is not a virtue of the Avatar. It's not one of the eight that we got, so that makes sense. Um... But I could ask about the shrine, right? He's on a pilgrimage to the Shrine of Humility. So let's ask about the, the shrine. It is on the Dark Island. I don't know what that means. So I think we're done with you. Let's move over here. Uh, meet a fair woman. Her name is Jem. Uh, how you doing? I'm doing well. What's your job here? I do humble works. Tell me about the works. Uh, I can help thee with the mantra. That is what I want to hear. What is the mantra? All right. Since humility is the opposite of pride, so is its mantra. Um, know, the, know ye the mantra of pride? I don't. No. When thou dost, reverse it. If I said yes, she would say, then reverse it for humility. So what's the mantra of pride? I'll have to figure that out. All right, you meet a slender shepherdess. What's your name? Uh, I am simple. <laughs> Once again, is that your name or is that a description? Um, what's your job here? I seek the shrine. Well, how you doing? I should always ask that first because that usually doesn't lead anywhere. I'm fine. All right, well, tell me about the shrine. The shrine of humility. Humility. The shrine lies on the north bank of the Isle of the Abyss and is guarded by endless hordes of demons. <laughs> know the Isle? I don't. If I say yes, she just says good. So, no, I don't know it. It is southeast of Britannia. Let me look at my map here. Um, a lot of things are southeast of Britannia. Um, humility? Oh, it's way, way down there, I think. Okay. Um... A lot, yeah, lots of things are southeast of Britannia, but uh, we, I think we got what we need out of you. All right, so I think I've talked to everybody here. Um, plain, we talked to. Simple, we talked to. Let's just double check. Gem, we talked to. And what's your name? Joseph, we talked to. Okay. Anybody else there? Nope. Quickly double checking. All right, what do we got here? We meet a bold paladin. What's your name? Uh, this is Corcoran. Corcoran, let me find you on my list here. 
so many people here in town, but we've gone through a good number of them so far. At least it feels that way. Okay. Uh, how are you doing? I am fully healed. What is your job? I travel these fair lands to spread the virtues. Tell me about the virtues. To know thy progress on the paths of virtue, one must see, visit the seer Hawkwind often. We've already gone through that, so I think we're fine. Um, dost thou know this? Um, if I say no, he says, thou must or thou may stray. But we have been told this. He says, good. And then he's another one that I can just say A, and he says A too. I think that's a bug. I think that's just like a leftover. All right. Uh, we do have the armory here. Uh, village arms. Are thou here to buy or sell? I can buy. Um, he does have bows. I like bows. Let me look at my list here. What can I get? I have a tinker with me. So what can I do with a tinker? A tinker can get a bow. So I'm going to go ahead and buy a bow if they allow me because it probably is expensive. 250 Absolutely. Our bows are made of the finest you and the arrows willow. A steal at 250 I'm going to take two of them actually. Wendy says, a fine choice. All right. Um, now we're good. Fairly well. All right. So we can now uh, ready a weapon for Baller Scuba. The weapon's going to be a bow. And then we can ready a weapon for Julia. And that is going to be a bow. And I do have a sling, but I don't necessarily care about uh, the sling I'll hold on to it just in case. We also have the mace, and you kind of want multiple weapons um, so that you can kind of swap out in the middle of a fight, I'm told. So we'll hold on to everything. I still got quite a bit of money. Let's head over here where we can sleep. <laughs> uh, welcome to the sleep shop. I am Timus. Art thou in need of uh, lodging? She says, are you? Why is like some of it old school and some of it not? I am in need of lodging. All we have is that cot over there, but it is comfortable and only one gold piece. I will take it. Good night. Have a pleasant night. Then we turn into a zombie or somebody that needs healing. And now we're up and we're fully healed again. So uh, that's kind of the best thing about Vesper is that you basically get a one gold piece heal. Uh, so people recommend going to here, here for that. Uh, we can find the alery, or just ale here. You meet a tall, nimble man. What's your name? I am Dyka. I actually know you. All right, how you doing? I am very well. What's your job here? Um, I am a thief. I like to borrow. Tell me about borrowing. My favorite things to borrow are horses. Um, tell me about horses. You can steal horses in the town. Pause. Art thou a thief? I am not a thief. If I say yes, he'll say, watch out for the bull in the corral. So it's not just a horse in there, but I'm going to say no. Likely thou art a wimp. If I was playing a different game, I'd attack you right now, but uh, I'm being nice. Aaron says, welcome to Axe and Ale. What will be food or ale? Food. Our specialty is green granite kit. Granny kit? I don't know what that is. Uh, which costs two gold pieces. How many plates would you like? Uh, right now, I don't need anything. I'm good on food. Uh, but two... Yeah, open. Uh, okay, one. Yeah, there's nothing there. All right, open. There we go. And we can make it to the guild down here. We'll talk to you, a sturdy peasant. What is your name? I am Balthazar. Now, that name's not necessarily in the Bible, but it is a biblical name. It is one of the three wise men in many of the kind of, uh, what would you even call it, uh, studies, I guess, of the Bible. They, they give the name Balthazar to one of the three wise men. All right, so you are Balthazar. Uh, how you doing? I'm pooped. Well, there's a cot if you want. It's pretty cheap. Uh, what's your job? I am a serf. What's a serf? Serfs work hard for little pay. Yeah, serfs are... Like, some people consider them slaves. <laughs> uh, because they're paid so little. It's like a step right above it. 
depending on who you talk to. Uh, what what do you do for work? I work the field for my master. Does thou have a master? Uh, I'm going to say no, but if you say yes, I hope he or she is a kind one. So no, thou art lucky indeed. So there's another kind of biblical name for us. All right, you meet a short road tund man with a hat and a vest. I am traveling Dan. How you doing? I'm fine, thank thee. What, what do you do here? Traveling Dan the Tinker Man. I like you, J Dan. Tell me about tinking. I am here to repair goods at the guild shop. Been to the guild shop? I could say yes, and I'll, he'll say great selection, but I haven't, so I'm going to say no. Best prices. All right, I think that is everybody here in town. Oh, nope, there is definitely something over there for me to steal, but uh, not really interested in that. Okay. Avast ye mates, sure ye wishes to buy from old Long John Leary. Long John Leary says, welcome to the guild shop. Like to see my goods? He's got torches, gems, and keys. All of these are useful. Uh, but uh, for the time being, we don't need that. We will need torches eventually. Like I kind of mentioned in the introduction, the game does have dungeons. It's just going to take us a while to get there. And most people recommend that you are basically an avatar with a full party before you head in. So that's going to be our plan. Um, that That's pretty much all that we want to do here. Let me just double check. Um, no, there is someone else that I have not talked to. All right. Um, we are good. See you, matey. So there should be somebody else here. There it is. I think that's just a guard. I don't think that's who I'm looking for, so we will leave that. Uh, but there should be another shepherd around here somewhere. I've talked to all four of you. I've even double checked. All right, are you near the top here somewhere? Where else could the shepherd be? Because he's kind of important. So I, I want to try to find him. I guess we'll try this again. Nothing. Nothing. Right, it's not you, right? What's your name? Durgin. Yeah, it's not you. It's not you. It is a shepherd, though. And that's what I'm kind of struggling with, is that there, there's not really another shepherd here. So maybe it just doesn't show up yet. Maybe there's another secret passage. Ah, there's the secret passage. Let's talk to you. I am Servile. How you doing, Servile? Ha Actually, how are you doing? Well, for now. What's your job? I can help thee. How? I know of the skull of Mondane the wizard. Remember last time we talked a little bit about a skull. Here's how you find out that there's a skull. Tell me about the skull. Hast thou heard of it? It doesn't matter what I say, so I'm going to say no. He'll say the same thing every time. It is an evil artifact. Tell me about the skull. To use it for any reason is a sign of great evil and no virtue. Okay, so we're not going to use the skull. Noted. I guess we'll move on. How you doing? Oh, you do have a name. You are Friday. I assume that is a reference to Robinson Crusoe. She is Friday. You mean a beautiful and impressive guard. Ooh. Uh, how you doing? I am well enough. What's your job here? I shall warn thee against taking this gold. Uh, dost thou intend to take it? No. Uh, I could say yes, and that says uh, that would not reflect well upon thy virtues. So, no. That is good. Tell me about the gold. It is not thine. Tell me about the warning. It is not thine. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, so we have a uh, fully explored Vesper. We got kind of the information that we can get out of there. I don't think there's anything left here. So where do we go now? Uh, we are close to the 
edge of how far we can go east from here. So we need to kind of backtrack and we're gonna head back to Britain now. That's gonna be our next stop. Uh, but they did say that I need to like meditate on these twice, like once and two times. All right, so apparently like I can just do that like once or twice. I'm not sure if it's gonna help all that much, but we'll do it. We were told to do it, so I will do it. And this one is a uh, caw. Thy thoughts are pure, thou art granted a vision. To give thy last gold piece unto the needy shows good measure of self-sacrifice. Yes, but it doesn't help your sacrifice. Can I enter uh, sacrifice two? Yeah, my mind's still weary. We had this problem before, so maybe after I become an avatar is when that kind of comes up. All right. So now we have bigger fights, um, more enemies, but now that we both have bows, we should be good. All right. You know, when I was fighting with the mace, a lot of people would escape. Uh, victory, let's open that. 90 gold my way. I did have to use, I believe, all of my cure spells too, so I have to be a little careful. So if I get uh, poisoned, we're, we're just gonna run back to uh, Britannia as quick as we can. All right, let's get the chest. 85 more gold, you get gold so fast in this game, it feels like. No, not, enter. Okay, sacrifice, two. And once again, you have to think about sacrificing. I know that they they were talking about uh, giving your last gold away. That, that does not increase your sacrifice. The only thing that you can do is give blood or die. <laughs> if you die, you can get resurrected, right? But that gives you one point. Um, don't, don't do that, just give blood. Especially back in Britannia where you get like a free heal. It seems, seems like the best way to go. So then, um, you know, if it turns out I do have to do one, two, and three, I won't go back to compassion. All right, granted a vision. For thee to flee and leave thy companions is a self-serving action to be avoided. Yeah, that doesn't give you any uh, honor to do that. So they're giving me tips, but I kind of already know the tips. So we're fine there. Uh, nope. Eh, eh, eh. And attack, and you can go over your party members. And he escaped anyway. All right, po evaded the poison trap. That's always nice, but I got more gold. I do actually need quite a bit of gold, so I should, you know, actually start saving it up. But, um, you know. Hey, here's a new enemy for us. We do have orcs, but you see the ones uh, that kind of look like they have hammers? They have long range weapons. I think it's a, supposed to be a sling. Hard to say, but th they will attack you with that. Um, this way. I mean, good enough. They're right in front of us. And you get, I don't know, I feel like you don't necessarily get more gold for, for killing a lot of these guys, as opposed to just one, but there you go. Oh, it was technically a troll. It wasn't an orc, it was a troll. And battling in this game goes very quickly, so I probably won't cut any of these out unless it starts getting kind of ridiculous how long it takes. No, wrong way. Eh. Yeah, you escaped. I got confused which one was which. They kind of switched on me there. All right, acid trap evaded. I don't mind acid traps nearly as much. Um, but uh, yeah, the poison ones, that's what I gotta look out for. And so far we haven't really been doing a lot with, you know, a ton of things here. 
Uh, we're just kind of walking around, seeing what we can do without using things like Moongate and uh, the pirate ship. But of course, we will need those th those things, or at least to use those things eventually. And so if you want to go out and do that, feel free. But for me, I am good right now just doing this. All right, we'll wait and get into another fight. Take you guys on. A little bit of damage, but once again, we're going back to Britannia, so it's not going to be a huge deal. I get a free heal from the king. You can actually go and get heals there too, but yeah, I should be saying on a chest. No? 58. Oh, there were two right on top of each other and 26. So let's just keep going. Um, I think this is the way I want to go. I'm actually a little bit lost, but I think we'll figure it out. This guy will eventually catch up to me. Yeah. It was bound to happen eventually. Okay, so we have skeletons. Let's get into position here. Just attack them. Magical hit. I got hit magically. Okay. Nope, can't go that way. All right, attack you. And go for the kill. Nope, not yet. There we go, got the kill. It was a mage acid trap, not too bad. I'll take the 70 gold. Okay, through there, and then you can go into that forest, but there's a swamp on the other side of that, so you'll get poisoned if you kind of don't pay enough attention, so I like it going around the, the forest there. Just to be on the safe side. No! No! Yeah, and I can't attack you that way. Screwed that up. Got my two party members confused. Just wait. He'll come down. Or he'll die. Either way. Alright, we'll take you on. Oh, that does not look good. What is that? That is a demon. Heavily wounded, though, and I think it might be fleeing. It didn't hit me for a lot. Yeah, the demon is fleeing. And there's not much I'm going to be able to do about that. Yeah, it eventually kind of gets away. And I only get 29 gold for that. The gold does seem to be, like, very random. All right. What can I do with you? Down you go. And just try to set people up to get them in position as best as I can. Yeah, it's, it's very random seemingly how much damage I'm going to do, but it doesn't give me numbers, so I don't know for sure. All right, down. All but you go. All right, get that. Poison trap is not good. Okay, let's get all this. There's nothing there. And cast one. I don't have the cure spell ready, so we gotta go. Um, I think it's down here. Let's make a break for it. Come on, go. Go faster. All right, well, I'm probably not gonna make it. 
So we'll see what I can do here. It was a poison trap. Um. No! I went too far! I want to fight them. I don't want to flee, but, you know, things aren't looking good for me here. Okay. Well, I didn't make it. So let's see what Lord British can do for me. I believe he should be able to uh, just bring me back, but, you know, we'll have to check that. Talk to you. That's what I thought. I shall live again, and I upped my sacrifice, and I'm up to level five. Julia's up to level three. All right, they brought me back. Things are looking good. This is why you go to Lord British. All of that for nothing. So let me take a look, because we didn't really delve into a lot of... Um, a lot of the characters here. Okay, so let, let's kind of talk to people and see what else I might have missed here. I want to go back and do it specifically, but, uh, you know, what are you going to do? All right. So what is your name? You are Juliet. Juliet, how you doing? What's your job? I can help thee. What's the help? Seek ye to know the eight virtues form into the three principles. Know, the, know ye this? Yes. Now the one. Tell me about the one. If I say no, she just says seek it. Seek ye to know what one thing the three principles of virtue combine into. Interesting. All right. What's your name? You are a jester twin. Tell me about... Being a jester, a jester needs to be a good bard. A jester needs a good bard. Tell me about bard. Our bard is very good. Dost thou like music? I do. Then you should go to Britain, for there lives the best. All right. Yeah, there's going to be a little bit of information that we get, but we, we've probably already gotten a lot of it. Yeah, it's just another jester twin. Okay. Here's the bard. Okay, they're not going to let me talk to the bard. Uh, I can talk to a guard. A burly guard. Um, I, I believe he's the same as everything. What's your job? Uh, guard the castle in my liege. I serve Lord British. And then I can ask him about being a guard. And then we get the same thing that we did before. So lots of people will give this. Uh, I, I am not the most valuable. Valiant Warrior, and that's how you can increase your humility. You can farm a lot of guys here. Um, does not take long. Can I open this? Okay, let's talk to people here. No? You have anything to say? Burly guard, guard, I'm a Valiant Warrior, no. Bye. <laughs> you can tell I've done that a few times. I'm not going to open up the prison cells. That just seems very wrong. And there's all the different fields they have, guarding things. All right. Let's go in here. Talk to people. If they stand in front of me, apparently some people just don't like talking. You meet a person with a white hat. What is your name? I am Le Chef. I think we've gone through Le Chef. Uh, but I can ask him about food. Food, glorious food, to cook is my life. Tell me about cooking. Cooking is a practiced art. Do you eat? Uh, if I say no, then he says, then thou must be a spiritualist. Yes, I do eat. Then thou must try my soup. Give me the soup. No, no soup for me. I can't make that reference yet. No. All right, uh, that's just another little chef. I remember you. Uh, nothing down there. Um, apparently I can talk to the prisoners. I'm not going to. That seems very wrong. Um, there might be a hidden passage around here somewhere. Because 
because I didn't see a mage anywhere, and they're telling me to talk to a mage. Even in here, I don't see... That is the mage. Can I talk to him? Feels very wrong. Yeah, you can't. You can't do that. Fair enough. He... Yeah, he actually does give you a good clue, is the problem. So we don't we don't get that. Cause he's he's in prison and I'm I'm being nice, but um I'm trying to think like could is it even worthwhile talking about? Probably not. So we're gonna move on. And then you know, this is just nothing but guards. Hawkwind, of course, is down here. We can talk to Hawkwind and see how I'm doing on certain things. Right, so. Oh. I have to wait till I wake up. There we go. Okay, I was asleep, so he wouldn't talk to me. Welcome, Baller Scuba. Right, all that good stuff. So, spirituality. I can meditate for three cycles. Um, what have we done? We've done compassion. Right, I'm a partial avatar in that. And we've done sacrifice. So he's not going to help me with that because I've basically already done everything. What else do we got? So how's my justice? How am I doing on, on justice? Though it does seem fair and just, strive to uphold justice even more sternly. Um, so far, I've basically just fleed like once. So that one's going to be difficult until we find the right person. Um, for that, that we can farm. Uh, tell me about honor. Uh, it does seem to be honorable in nature. Seek to bring honor upon others as well. Uh, then we have valor. Uh, showing valor in the face of danger. Strive to become yet more so. All right, then sacrifice we've done. Honesty. That was made little progress on the path of honesty. Yeah, there's only one way to increase honesty, and we haven't found it yet. Uh, then spirituality, we've talked about humility, we've done. All right, so we are good there. Get me through here. Jeez. Okay. Um, I think we've talked to everybody else as much as we can. So let's just go ahead and go. I don't want to talk to the healer because um, if I don't give blood, then it like takes that away from me so i think that's going to do it for today uh we will probably have to go back to britain and then move on to a next town next time but hopefully everything saves for me properly this time that would be great i've been baller scuba i have been joined as always by baller scuba and that's going to do it for ultima 4 for today i hope you laughed i hope you learned and i hope to see you next time for more ultima 4 thanks for watching